It starts with sprint work. Um, I think that's really important to understand how to run because without being able to do so, it's hard to get into the proper position in order to jump far or even enjoy jumping because you can hurt yourself pretty easily. And so I'd say, you know, if you're starting off, you know, learn first how to run and how to run properly. One of the things you always got to address is running mechanics, foot contact with the ground, because it's all going to start from there. Um, in order to do that, all your warm-up drills and your exercises all have to be geared towards creating the right uh, foot action and foot strike on the ground. And if it doesn't start there, then everything from then on is going to kind of be a disaster. Um, and in saying that, we're, what we always try to do is proper running mechanics. What, what do we teach? Yeah, I know a lot of the athletes talk about, and the first thing they can see is toesy athletes. Everyone can see toesy athletes. You know, when everyone's reaching, striking out in front. From day one, especially in the States here, we don't teach that portion of running correctly. Um, and it's just natural to run the other way. Toesy, that's natural. Um, but to, to get to understand that the foot has to create force directly under the center of mass, there are some things we have to do to get there. What we want to always focus on is, you know, you hear a lot of times, and high school coaches, and I, I hear it all the time, we always talk about knee up and toe up. But that's great. You can say that till you're blue in the face, but an athlete isn't going to do that. They're not going to do knee up, toe up. It's just, this is your knee up, this is your toe up. They, I mean, they, they don't understand that the toe has to stay in a dorsiflex position to get it there. The best way, and I will say this, the best way to teach a kid to do this is if they are an extremely toesy runner, which is, I would say, 80% of every kid that even comes into our program in the beginning, um, we start all of their drills, whether it's the A skips or B skips or, or um, you know, the quick leg, any of the drills that you're performing, you tell them to run on their heels. And it was, uh, it was a great coach that actually had preached this in the past, and I never thought about this till about four years ago, till even uh, Coach Kareem said, try this, our sprints coach. And it cleaned up everything insanely quick. Now, what does that mean? Run on your heels. If you actually try to run on your heels, you're gonna hyperextend your knees. It's not, nothing's gonna go well, but you can't do it. So you're actually gonna create some dorsiflex action right away. And that makes a huge difference to start with foot contact drills because that's important. <music> 